alter ego at the movies. He knows a thing or two. Walter Ego at the movies. He's coming right at you. Year One wants to be a comedy. It's made by a proven comic director, Harold Ramis, and features a proven comic star in Jack Black. So why isn't it funny? Because too many of its jokes suck, that's why. Some of them are so bad, the filmmakers didn't even bother with punchlines. Like one bit early in the film that involves a yellow snake that is so lame, Ramis simply cuts away from it without even a hint of a payoff. Or maybe he thought a yellow snake wrapping itself around Michael Sarah's neck was so funny he didn't need to do anything else, like create a punchline. Punchlines? We don't need no stinking punchlines. Maybe you don't, Mr. Ramis, but I've got news for you. Good comedy does. There are a few laugh out loud moments in year one. My favorite is when Kane, played by a hilariously amoral David Cross, receives his eponymous mark. It's a near perfect moment of cosmic comeuppance that unfortunately highlights how uninspired the rest of the film really is. Michael Sarah isn't as fortunate as Black Sidekick O. And yes, this movie did name one of its characters O. Sarah's deadpan delivery repeatedly saps scenes of the comic energy they so desperately need to work. Sarah is a moderately talented actor who is just terribly miscast in year one. Fortunately, we can't say the same about the previously mentioned David Cross. His cane provides the film with a desperately needed jolt of comic energy. Oliver Platt is also quite good as an over-the-top gay high priest. The character is less than one-dimensional, but Platt's exuberant performance helps us not notice too much. The female characters are also very limited. Director Ramis seems to be working on two films here at the same time, and small details like well-drawn women seem to have been ignored. Half the film wants to be a straightforward slapstick comedy, and the other half a meditation on good and evil and biblical lore. I give him kudos for trying, but the successful marriage of these themes requires a much stronger script than the one on display here. In the end, Year One provides a few good laughs, a handful of chuckles, and one scene of painfully unfunny farting that underscores just how flat this so-called comedy really is. Walter Ego says, wait for Year One to dawn on DVD before even thinking about watching it. Walter Ego at the movies, he knows a thing or two. Walter Ego at the movies, he's coming right at you.